Hello, YouTube. And we're playing some Harvest Moon Save the Homeland. Aren't you excited? I'm excited. I don't know. Words aren't working for me tonight. What's new, right? Uh, vibration, stereo. That's all the options we have. This is a CD-based game, so I'm not that surprised. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I shouldn't be, like, prejudiced against them. That's probably not the right word. I don't know, I can't think. But, <laughs> like, anytime I see a game based on a CD, I'm just like, uh, this is gonna be mediocre at best <laughs> on the PS2. You know what I mean? Is it just me? It's probably just me. A letter from Dad. Hi, Dad. What? Oh, is that our dad? Or is that some random guy? It's been a long time since I've played this one. I've never played much of the PS2 Harvest Moon games, only a little bit. Do you remember your grandfather's farm since he's passed? away now. I'm thinking of giving it away. <laughs> That's, yep. I heard that they're going to start building a theme park next year. There's not much of his belongings left. I hate this tense box so much. But I want you to take care of the things that are still there. Also, go around and talk to the townspeople for me. Take care, Dad. What's, what, we just getting a nice little view here? You fixed it? I'm really proud of you, love. You did a good job. So for anyone who doesn't know, like Harvest Moon and has a bit of a troubled history in the past like decade or so. Um, so the, the creators of Harvest Moon and their publisher, at least for America, Natsume, had a bit of a falling out. But sadly, the publisher, Natsume, has the rights for the name, like Harvest Moon. Um, hence where the Story of Seasons games that I was talking about earlier came from. The publisher continued to make Harvest Moon games under the name Harvest Moon. Um, whereas the actual developer had to switch the name to something else of their games because they, they didn't have the rights to it anymore. So they called it Story of Seasons, which I'm pretty sure is what they were originally called in Japan anyways. Um, but yeah, so that's where like that divided came from. The problem is is that Natsume kind of ruined Harvest Moon, at least for me personally. I'm sure there's some people that like the newer quote-unquote Harvest Moon games, but they're kind of trash for me personally. I'm just not that into them. But they are developing a new one. Um that actually looks pretty cool. A lot of people are comparing it to, like, Harvest Moon X Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and uh, it does actually look interesting. I might check that one out. Because, um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. It does look pretty cool. It's the, the first actual Harvest Moon branded game that I've been interested in, even, in a long time, man. Whereas the Story of Seasons games, those all look really good. Uh, I would love to play more of those. I've only played one, and it's the remake of the Back to Nature, my favorite one. Uh, Friends of Mineral Town, it's called, on the Story of Seasons side. I'm going to take a wild guess and say you probably have a spare three-prong power cord if you happen to want to fire the printer up tonight. Uh, it's fine. I can If you can find the cord, um, that's awesome. If not, I'm sure I do have an extra one laying around somewhere. But, uh, honestly, I don't think I'm going to have time to screw with it tonight anyways. I mean, if tonight's the best time for you to bring it over, then by all means you can. But, yeah. It's a dusty bookshelf. There are lots of books about farming. There's also what appears to be Grandpa's Notes. I'm not going to read us Grandpa's Notes. Also, I'm sorry you have to chat from your phone, love. I don't, I don't know what to tell you about that one. I feel like that'd be a lot easier anyways than trying to chat using a uh, TV remote. It's a really old TV set, and it looks like there's still electricity. All this time without paying the power bill? You still got power? Kind of bullshit. I gotta spend like 200 a month on power, and you get it for free? 
There must be a good way. Good way of what? Wait, what? Chocobo enthusiast redeemed. Oh, get one dragon credit. Okay. I thought it said you redeemed a dragon credit. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no, no, no. That won't work. What won't work? But you said. Isn't there a better idea? I, I don't know what's going on. Motherfucker, no fair. Wait, what's no fair? Are you mad that Chocobo took both the credits? It is easier. It automatically makes my phone chat only. It's nice. Ah, okay. Cool. The power thing? Right? For real, though. Unless we find a way, we'll have to move away from here. Find a way to what? I like the look of this one so far better than the other one. The textures are a little muddy, but... I don't know. I guess maybe I just like the hard outlines. <laughs> and now we just trap harvest sprites under our hand. I am your god now. You will do as I please. <laughs> poor little blue guy. Speaking of poor little blue guys, man, our cat. Oh, that's why I got to get up super early. Um, because we have to take one of our cats to the vet. Uh, oh, we won. Hell yeah, dude. And then... And that's tomorrow morning. Hence why we gotta get up super early. Our, our other cat got a fucking hematoma in their ear. And it's like, we don't know what to do about that, man. <laughs> like, apparently you can potentially get them just, like, drained at a vet. But it's not a permanent fix. It could come back. Um, you can just let it heal itself naturally over time. But that can be uncomfortable for the cat. Thankfully, our cat doesn't seem to be in any sort of discomfort at the time. Um, but the downside is, is that it can take quite a while for them to heal naturally. It could pop in the meantime, which is just a mess because a hematoma is, you know, filled with blood. Um, if it does pop, there's a risk of infection, of course, because anytime there's an open wound. And uh, lastly, a hematoma that heals naturally is likely to cause cauliflower ear in an animal. Um, is it just me or is Bo not making sound? Can you guys hear Bo at least? For some reason, Bo's not making sound to me. Um, but anyway, so it's like we don't know what to do for the poor thing. Getting a surgery uh, for the cat, from what we were reading online, can cost up to $1,000, which is just crazy. Um, if the forest and the lake... Wait, what? Why are they going to disappear? We beg you to stop them from building the theme park. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Drum roll? Yes, the drum roll. He looks extra sad. He does. And not because, like, he actually seems like he's in a worse mood or anything, but because the hematoma's in his ear, and it's a pretty decent size. It's not, like, massive, but it's a pretty decent size. And he has really, you know, thin, somewhat floppy ears already. Um, it makes the ear, like, flop down the rest of the way. <laughs> so he just looks... And he already has, like, a sad-looking face. Um, honestly, it kind of makes me laugh. I feel bad for him. Because even though he doesn't seem to be in, you know, like, pain or anything like that, I'm sure it's still not the most comfortable thing in the world. And uh, I worry about his future, so I still feel a little bit bad for him. But when I look at him, I just can't help but laugh a little bit because he looks, he looks silly. We need your help to protect this place. We're going to do what we can in the next hour. <laughs> Accept the request? Yeah, dude. We'll help you out, little dudes. I don't like the eyes on the one on the, the left, the blue one. Just the giant black holes of eyes he's got. Like the red one with the, the black slits, that's not too bad, right? Because at least they're, they're vertical, they're thin or whatever. The other one just like, bam, just two black holes in the middle of their face. Like Impressive, I'm so impressed. One an admirable young man. Oh, it's the goddess. Hi, goddess. Nice to meet you. She's a goddess. <laughs> nice to meet you, Heart. I am the Harvest Goddess. I live at the Harvest Goddess Lake. I, that's amazing. I never would have guessed. If I had to guess where a Harvest Goddess lived in a, in a town like this, the Harvest Goddess Lake, I think, would have been one of my first uh, guesses. S-T-R-E-A. I think it'll just fit. Yeah. No. Yes. Okay. Yes, that name's okay. Okay. 
So, Stream, I have a few questions for you. I have a lot of questions for you, honestly. Puppy has been abandoned in the rain. What would you do? Take him home. Ignore him. No, we take him. <laughs> what the hell? Someone has thrown trash on the ground. What would you do? Ignore it. I wonder what happens if we did just be like, ignore to everything. Found someone else's money on the ground. What would you do? Turn it in. Take it home. I mean, how much money are we talking about? If it's like $5, I'm probably just going to take it home. Let's be real. Not to be that guy, but like, dude. Now, if it was like a sack of a million dollars, I would probably disappear with it. No, I'm joking. Honestly, I'd probably turn it in. I would feel really weird taking that home. Plus, how would you like, I don't know, how would you even hide that, dude? It's, I don't know. I'd, it'd be weird. I don't think I could do it. What do you think? He's a good person. I'm super curious what happened if we had just said no to everything. Seems too good to be true. The goddess is skeptical. You know, I read it in a psychology book that in the case of these kinds of questions, who cares? Let's just ask him. <laughs> what is going on? You're right. So please, do us this favor. You have been brought to this land as the savior of this town. Yes, it is fate that brought you. Here. <laughs> These text box. The goddess is making it all up. She's trying to put him under a spell. There's nothing we can do but watch. Stream, could you give this farm a... Name. Okay. Uh... Ooh, t -t titties. Um... I don't know, man. Aw, oh, I hate olives. I, I think because Olive Town or whatever the hell it was called was on my mind, that was the first thing that came to mind. Um, big, big farm, little, L-I-T-T-L-E, little farm, syrups, <laughs> just syrups, syrups farm. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Syrups, you, uh, where's the P, P, Oh, God, that's not even how you spell Serps. S-Y-R-U-P-S. Serps. Serps Farm. Yes, let's go. Or the Serps Farm. I see. So you wish to call it the Serps Farm. <laughs> that's a lovely name. Thanks, Goddess. Whatever your grandfather left should be enough to get you started here. If there's anything you'd like to discuss with me, please visit me at the Harvest, Goddess Lake in the Forest. <laughs> I feel that it's important to get along with the people. First, in order to save this village. Oh, I thought that was... Huh, I thought that was a whole sentence. Just talk to everyone. I'm sure a path will open for you if you do that. All right. Can we, can we go do that now? The talking thing to people? Every once in a while. Oh. Oh. Now I have black eyes. You can find us at the cave beyond here. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. <laughs> we'll come again. Completely uninvited. We'll stop over. Don't you worry. Does the back of our hat say toy? It does say toy. Hey, okay. We got some control now. Start menu. Belongings, tool, key item. So we got scythes. Ho, watering can. I'm assuming these are potato seeds. Is there a way to like get info? Select. Yeah, potato seeds. You have two seeds. Left. That makes sense. Grandpa's little message. Press start to open the screen and press select to open something. Another mild weather period is indicated in yellow. The rainy season in blue and the dry season in red. Plan ahead by keeping the seasons in mind before sowing your seeds or before buying your animals. Okay, so that's the map. Oh my god, dude. Our fucking sprite for the player. That looks fantastic. I love it. Oh. Okay, so each, like, month has its own subdivided, like, mini-seasons. Oh my god, you're right. I didn't even realize. <laughs> we can actually just click through it. <laughs> That is so much better. Holy shit, dude. They really should have did that for the whole game. Here's tomorrow's weather forecast. There's a 0% chance of rain. It will be a lovely sunny day. Hi, it's time for Farmer Fran and you. Today, I'll tell you about the basics. 
The sickle is something you cut the grass with. <laughs> Don't use it on your crops, except when you need to get rid of the old ones. And be careful when you use the super sickle, because it'll cut down anything within three spaces in front of you. Good to know. Today's horoscope. A lucky day for Sagittarius. Your studies or your work will go well. Going outside on a sunny day will brighten your spirits. Your lucky item is a polka-dotted ribbon. Okay. To turn on the TV, press the X button, directional button to do something, diary does something. Oh, we can move with the directional buttons, too. Let's just go outside. I'm assuming time doesn't move while we're inside, because I didn't see a clock or anything there. Unless it's just, like, here for the beginning of the stream. Or the stream? The, the game. Good morning. Good morning to you, my guys. You're new here, so you have a lot to learn, stream. We've watched your grandpa, so we know a lot. We're going to teach you. Dude, that little blue guy seriously freaks me out. He's going to eat my soul in the middle of the night. This is where the dog food goes. Grandpa used to feed the stray dogs once in a while. If you put food in here, they might come back again. Do I want a bunch of stray dogs just chilling at my house? These are your fields. That's where you grow shit. Then you can sow your seeds. After you sow the seeds, you water them with a watering can. Dude, I never would have guessed. I'm so happy you told me these things. You can fill up your watering can at that well. Stare into the way. Can we animate the character turning around? Yes, but it'll take six paces. Ah! <laughs> it's so... Look, so far, though, it's better than the other one. <laughs> like, the loading times are basically non-existent, whereas in the other one, it took, like, 30 seconds just to load the damn inventory screen. Um, the models, I think, look a lot better. The textures are super muddy, but whatever, man. I can get over that. Seeds will sprout if you water them every day. Keep watering and you'll get vegetables. You can bring them to the shop and sell them to make money. And I'm assuming, honestly, I think the terrible text boxes are probably just a leftover from when it was, you know, Japanese. Because um, Japanese, things are a lot more dense text-wise. So, like, it probably wouldn't be all that bad, the occasional scrolling and somewhat slowly popping up thing here. But in English, dude, wow. Put the chicken feed in the feed box. If you don't feed your chickens, they'll get sick, and I'm assuming die like that little yellow dude. Chickens lay eggs, and if you put an egg in the incubator, the egg will hatch. And you'll have a chick. Had to get a chick somehow. Chick will grow up to be a chicken. <laughs> Let them out if the weather's nice. The chickens eat and get full if you leave them outside for a while. If the chicken gets full outside, you don't need to put food in the feed box. Do we have to put them away at night? Do they let themselves in and out? These are serious questions. This is the pasture. If you cut long grass three times with your sickle, you get one unit of fodder. You'll need fodder to feed your horses. And cows. Wait, we can have more than one horse in this game? I'm used to, like, most Harvest Moon games, you only get one horse. If you leave them out for a while on a sunny day, they'll just eat the grass. But it's not easy to push a cow out the door. It's really not, man. I learned that in Harvest Moon Back to Nature. Taking the cows in and out every day was by far the worst part of that game. This is where you keep your livestock, like your horses and cows. If you leave the fodder in the boxes, they'll eat it. They'll get sick if you don't feed them. Cows like it when you talk to them and brush them. The cows that you are really good friends with will give you good milk. You can only get milk from big cows. Oh, and the stupid breeding mechanic in the one, man. I get that's how it works in real life. <laughs> but, like, I don't want to have to constantly rebreed my cows to get milk. I just want an adult cow to just give me milk. Like, it's a video game, dude. Just let it be. A cow can give birth to a calf if you use a cow miracle potion on her. That's what we call it. They're really cute. A cow will become friendly with you faster if you raise her as a cat. But pregnant cows don't give milk. Isn't that a little, little, little backwards? Just a wee bit? Guess you gotta save it for the baby cow, but the baby cow's not actually born yet. I don't know. Horses like it too when you talk to them and brush them. If you become friendly with a horse, you'll be able to ride on him. 
There's no hurt horses. The better buddies you are, the faster he'll run. This is basically how Grandpa was doing his work. At times, you'll need money to live here, too. Apparently not, dude. Electricity's fucking free. I'll just stay in the house all the time. Eat some grass? Like, <laughs> plenty of that around here, and it's free. Anyways. RE4. I actually voted on RE4 myself for my weekly vote. Um, I picked up all of the Resident Evil games on Steam, by the way, too. Uh, so I now have the ones that I didn't have before, which is cool, I guess. Uh, what? Oh, the camera. It's like a physical camera. So it was getting stuck on the house, so it couldn't turn anymore. But what I was confused by is you can't turn the camera and move at the same time. So you have, like, the controllable camera, but yeah. I'm assuming in this game... Oh, wait, does it not have, like, a, a thing to show us? Wait, is the game broke? No. Oh, that is, like... Okay, I was talking about the textures being muddy. They are really muddy, my guy. Holy shit. But it doesn't have the hit indicator to tell us where we're aiming at. I kind of miss that. I really like having one of those. But it, what I was actually going to say, I'm assuming the seeds probably only do, like, a one tile area. Hopefully you can't, like, accidentally put the same seed down twice. Hope it's empty. Got that camera turning thing. That's... That's gonna get annoying. I'd much rather just have a fixed camera angle. But anyways, yeah, no. I <laughs> I vote on RE4 myself because uh, I want to play it so that I can play the other ones since I just bought them all. Uh, so we have to sickle. I'm assuming the grass just regrows itself over time. Oh god, we're already getting worn out. Okay, but we can only cut the tall grass. That makes sense. So, did that fodder just automatically go in here? It did. Look at that, man. Like, no loading time at all. Why the hell can't so save the homeland be that way? Glad you know the buttons to reset a Verifone credit card reader. <laughs> I'm assuming you went to the gas station or something and their credit card reader was down. Because otherwise, that's a really weird random message, my guy. Uh, okay, well, there's nothing else for us to do on the farm. Our farm's a little lackluster. It's not bad, it's just very basic. I wonder if we can expand it at any point. It's one of the things that I really liked about, uh, like, Stardew Valley. Being able to lay out your own farm and stuff. It's pretty cool. Walnut Forest and Syrup Farms. Well, uh, let's... I'm assuming this is the town? What are you? Ronald's Supermarket, open 8 to 6, closed on Sundays. What day are we on right now? Tuesday, and it's 11 a.m., so you should be open. Let's go check out Ronaldo's. I'm assuming you're Ronaldo? There's some yummy-looking foods here. Do you sell food? The list of our merchandise is next to the cash register. We'll also buy from you, so don't hesitate to bring in your goods. Uh, Bye. Rice balls, sandwiches, soft bread, honey, cheese, milk, eggs. Ah, but you don't sell, like, seeds? Hi, you must be the kid who's visiting Tony's farm. I thought you were just picking up his stuff. You're going to be running his farm, did you say? Well, nice to meet you. I'm Ronald. You as well, sir. That's my private room, off limits, you know? What if we become really good friends? Can I then go through all of your personal things? Can we steal his stuff? No. Hello, I'm assuming you're a child? Hi, I'm Tim. Hi, Tim. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Aw, oh, thank you for feeding Bo, my guy. Oh, you moved to the farm? Good luck. Uh, good luck with whatever you're doing, Tim. Oh, shit. I keep trying to turn the camera with R2 and L2. Doesn't work that way in this game. Are these weeds? Flowers? Can we do anything with them? Noodle! Do you have clothes on? <laughs> hey, chickens! Hello, little chickens. Mm. 
Yes? Okay. <laughs> Nate's gonna be dropping off the a printer in like 10 minutes, he said. Is this a wishing well or just a regular well? Just a nice well. Okay, fair, fair. Uh, okay, so that's the forest. And then back in there, I'm assuming that's the goddess lake or whatever. And that's probably some sort of waterfall. Let's visit the rest of the town first. Charlotte wants me to know she's not happy. Oh, I didn't figure she'd be happy. She's locked up because she's not allowed to eat any food or drink anything tonight. Because of the surgery tomorrow at the vet. Um, and she hates being locked up. <laughs> Market and Brownie Farm. Ooh, maybe Brownie Farm is where we buy. Close on Wednesday, Saturday. You should be open right now, though. Maybe that's where we buy seeds from in this game. Nice to meet you. I've heard about you and your farm. This town might be gone in a year. But good luck on your farm. Wow, way to be a downer, my guy. I'm Lewis. It's been a pleasure. Stream. Buy brush, milk, AP medicine, small sickle? Super sickle. That's the super sickle. Okay. A lot of samples and things here. Well, if they're samples, does that mean I can take them? Can we go fishing? Dude, I want to fish. Have I seen your big hoodie? I have not, love. I don't know where you put it. Ooh. Doctor's office, maybe? Uh, or just scientist guy? I'm still curious. Does time move indoors? It's 131. Still 131. Okay, I'm assuming time does not move indoor. Doesn't look like they do a lot of cooking. What's this? What is this? It's probably better if I didn't touch it. Lots of strange books. There's like nobody here. Looks like an ordinary umbrella or maybe it's an antenna. Hmm. Some sort of mad scientist house? Uh huh. I expect there to be more collectibles, but maybe you just find that in the, the forest. I mean, that would make sense. And who are you? Lila's Flower Shop. Closed on Sundays. It's not Sunday, though. Hello, Lila. Are you... How to sow seeds about vegetables? Potato. This crop is relatively easy to grow. You can harvest them after the flower blooms. They sell at just 60 gold for each one, but they grow quickly. Uh, about vegetables? These are the only four vegetables in the game? What's bread? For? This crop is very delicate. Do not forget to water them, especially during the dry season. They sell for 100 gold each. Different kinds of seeds. There are also some cute little items. So I'm assuming this is where we actually buy our seeds from? Potato, tomato, corn, breadfruit, S. Oh, wait, these are all S. Huh. Okay. But what what season do they all grow? <laughs> Can we just... Do they grow during any season? I need more info. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. I didn't think we'd be getting any visitors here. Oh, so your name is Stream? Good luck with your farm. Thanks, B. Uh... uh about seasons? Seasons. Crops grow faster in summer than in winter. Okay, so... I'm confused. Does that mean we can just grow crops year-round? Tomato. This crop is strong against dry weather, and you can harvest them several times. It takes a few extra days for them to grow fully. Each one sells for 80 gold. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. Bye. I would like to buy, well, you can probably do corn a couple times too, huh? Let's do one tomato, two corn. How much is the breadfruit? Okay, we can buy one of each. How do I get out of here? Please help. The flowers are pretty. Such pretty flat one. Yep. I concur. Did we miss anything here? 
No. Okay. Keep a going. What time is it? 2.35. I'm surprised there's, like, no HUD at all. Like, I, I expected at least a little bit of a, uh, like, the time and season or something. Is this the other farm? What is this? Farmer shop. Open 8 to 5, close on Thursdays. Again, it's not Thursday, so we good. You sell animals, I'm assuming? How to take care of animals. Cow, horse, dog, chicken. I mean, it's pretty simple. I think we can figure it out. Fodder, chicken feed, cow miracle potion, A medicine. Animal medicine, that makes sense. Cows and chickens. Chickens are 500 gold, that's not too bad. What do you want? <laughs> Nothing? They're strange. <laughs> Part-time help wanted. Come work with animals. Looking for young motivated workers. 50 gold an hour plus bonuses from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. No work on rainy days. Apply at the counter. Okay. That's cool. Noodle. Hey, Noodle. Nate's here. Uh, maybe we'll try the part-time work at some point. I'm not going to rush right into it, though. Oh, God, which way did we come in? Brownie Farm Pasture and Perea Forest. Wait, is it already getting late? 3.32. It looks like it's getting dark already. It's not that late. Huh, I expected someone to be here because, like, everybody else it wouldn't let me just go through their house. But this dude, it's like, it's fine. Just go through his stuff all we want. No one cares. Well, I'm assuming there's not really anything to do in his pasture. So is this the... That's the flower and tool shop. So the, the forest must be this way. Never mind. This is the pasture. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> the other way. <laughs> Through the gate. My god, dude. It's only 421. Why is it so dark? Oh. There's people out here in these woods. Hopefully there's a, like, quicker way for us to... Oh, I didn't mean to break it. Can I, like, put it in my backpack? There we go. R1, okay. What is it, though? How do I... Select. There we go. Moon drop flower makes a great gift. Can be sold, but not for much. It's in the freezer? Dude, I don't... I don't think you should put printers in... Printers? Huh, I don't think you should put printers in the freezer. Seems like a bad spot for him, my guy. This isn't much of a forest. It's also very far away from town. Summon or two. <laughs> Can't believe you're still putting votes on that. It felt like it was in the freezer. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty chilly outside. <laughs> Not surprised. Is there anything back here? Also found a parkour that would wo work, but not the proper one yet. It's not the biggest deal in the world if you can't. I'm sure I do have one around here somewhere. I don't know where off the top of my head, but somewhere. Hello, anybody here? Oh, you sell stuff too? Oh, dude, you sell all kinds of stuff. Or you don't have any with you? Wait, are you buying this stuff? Hello? Hello there, dear. I've never seen you around before. Where are you from? Oh, so you're Tony's grandson, Stream. My name's Martha. Nice to meet you. Hi, Martha. Why is there a list of things on your counter? I shouldn't open someone else's refrigerator. I mean, that's true, but... Go on home and go to bed, dear. You go home and go to bed. Hello, you are... I've never seen you before. Are you a tourist? Did I just shake my head? Yes. <laughs> no, I do not need to know your name. Wow! You won't be here for long anyway, will you? You do not need to know my name either. <laughs> Little girl, be rude, dude. Can I watch their TV? No. 
This game doesn't let me do anything I want to do. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot Nate's car has no heat. That's probably part of the reason too. Are you a little bit nicer than I'm assuming your daughter or sister? How do you do? My name is Gina. You must be Mr. Stream. It's a pleasure to meet you. Are you the maid, maybe? The whole Mr. Stream throws me off. Girls have so many clothes. I wonder why they never why they wear the same thing every day. Children's books and things. Okay. I believed in you, love. And see, you didn't even end up dropping it. Proud of you. All right, let's get back home, I guess, and then plant the couple things that we have real quick. I don't know how late is appropriate to stay up in this game. Also, I can't turn the camera. Uh, Why camera no turn? I guess I just wouldn't turn that way. Sadly, there doesn't be a shortcut to get back home. So anytime they want to come to or leave their house, they have to go through this dude's farm. Weird. I forget which way to go. I think it's this way. No, this is the pasture, ain't it? Nope, this was the right way. Let's go. He's cleaned off. It was collecting dust and cat hair. No worries, man. We have cats and dust. <laughs> we collect both those things, actually. <laughs> Adds to the value, right? I'd love to th explore the forest, but t uh, time in this valley apparently flies. It is... Does that say 642 or 842? I think that's meant to say 8, maybe? 847? 849? Holy shit, yeah, it's like a, a minute a second. Uh, I kind of want to keep everything in their own fields. So, oh, just found some iron ore. And then, I forget what all I have. Tomatoes? Water them bitches. And corn? And the breadfruit. Is breadfruit a real thing? I'm seriously curious now. Yeah. Looks like we're getting tired, which is perfect timing. 1016. Can we see, like... No, I was hoping maybe we could go over to the, the picture of our face to see exactly what it means. Sadly, it doesn't seem to let us. What is this? Very berry. Restores energy. Can be sold. Iron ore, not too rare. Usually sells for a decent price. So we can just mine in our own fields. That's kind of neat. Uh, Did it say we can eat moondrop flowers? Or no? It's a great gift. Can be sold, but not for much. So I'm assuming we can't, like... I don't want to put that out. But, like, can we feed it to the... Oh. Maybe we can feed Moondrop flowers to dogs. Might as well refill the watering can, I guess, while we're here. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock. We should probably go to bed. I wonder if this is one of the Harvest Moon games where if you stay up too late, you, like, fall asleep in the morning. Or sleep in in the morning, or rather. Status? Money, cow, chicken, dog, horse. Syrup's farm. Powerberry fish. You do have fish. Uh, ED. We have an erectile dysfunction window. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Diary. Diary. So I'm, that's probably saving. Yeah. Just save to the first one. Yes, make a new file. That's fine. You don't have to ask. I clicked on a new file after all. Nice. And... Oh. Oh, do you automatically sleep when you save? That's not too uncommon in Harvest Moon games. I just didn't realize this was one of them. Uh, what's the weather? Tomorrow's weather forecast. There's a 0% chance of rain. That's all I need to know. 
Actually, you know what? Farming tips or whatever could be good. You need a watering can to water your crops. I take it back. <laughs> These farming tips are useless. Okay, so we can see how much water's left. That's kind of neat, I guess. Are there any doggies out here since I put stuff in the bowl? Yes! Hi! No, don't run away from me! Oh. Uh. I don't know which one's the dog whistle and which one's the horse whistle. Uh, Moondraw Flower. I know they make good gifts and all, but feed it to the dogs. Ooh. Oh. Okay, these other seeds haven't grown at all yet. It may just be because they're slower growers, though. I'm not sure. I don't know if they just grow slowly or if it's completely out of season for them because there was like no information on them. I guess maybe from my menu I could have got some info on them. Like, because if you have stuff in your inventory and you press select on it, it tells you a little bit about them. I guess we could have done that and maybe learned something. Might as well cut some grass while we're waiting for the sun to come up. Oh, it's already 8 o'clock? Holy shit, dude. Let's leave. Let's go to... Let's check out the forest area. So we haven't been there yet at all. Five rolls of filament. When you come across the other couple, I'll bring them. Yeah, I got you, dude. Appreciate you bringing it over, man. You really didn't need to tonight. Uh, this way. So for the early game, what should you be doing? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, there's a lot more stuff over here than I expected. I thought, you know, like in the town area, there would be more people and stuff. There seems to be more people over here in the, what they call it, forest. Red herb? Does that heal poison? I want to know more about animals. Should go to Brownie Farm. I'm assuming that's the mad scientist looking or seeming dude. Hey, you don't look familiar. You can't possibly be here on vacation. Um, oh, so you're that old farmer guy's grandson. You're here to collect his stuff. I'm Joe, by the way. I don't think we'll know each other for a long time. <laughs> but nice to meet you. Everyone has such a good outlook here, man. Who are you? What do you want? Oh, you're his grandson. It's too late to come and live here. You see, this town might become history pretty soon. So I've heard. Surprise everyone's just like rolling over and accepting it, though. Won't let me go in the outhouse. Terrible game. No problem, you just know the rest of your house. Your house. <laughs> the rest of your week will probably be busy. Fair enough. Fair enough. Is that a... Is that a flower? A moon drop flower? Either we can't collect, collect it or it's not, so... We'll ignore it. I'm assuming this is somebody's house? Carpenter's house. Open early. Closed on Tuesday, Thursday. Today's Thursday, isn't it? No, it's Wednesday! Let's go. Hello! Are you the strange guy who moved into that farm? Well, whatever. Good luck. These people have no manners, man. Kitchen and a doghouse. So you can do upgrades. 10,000 gold for kitchen and a doghouse. You don't even have a dog yet. Come back when you get a dog. I mean, fair, I guess. Like, maybe I want to get the house before I get a dog. Just to be prepared. But, you know, whatever. Is this the lake area? There's a log. Can't do anything with the log. Oh, hi there. Who are you? Hi, nice to meet you. The name's Parsley. I'm a plant hunter. My job is to look for plants and seeds. That is an interesting job. How does one become a plant hunter? 
I mean, I guess that's what I'm doing right now. Also, I hate to do this, but we're going to have to take a short break. My stomach is very upset with me. So <laughs> I'll be back in uh, like five minutes, guys. The piece off that melted and got it to lay flat. Check the wiring inside of it. Everything looks fine. So thankfully, the foodie's fine. I cleaned the stove with the razor blade, so everything's okay. But yeah. <laughs> no, it was definitely her fault. Definitely Mr. Noodle's fault. I mean, she didn't really have anything to do with it, but, you know, she was there. So. <laughs> and she's the clumsy one in the relationship, so I'm blaming her for sure. <laughs> I love you, Mr. Noodle. Just playing with you. It's not your fault, I know. I'm just glad everything ended up being okay. Didn't even get the foodie out. Yeah. You were at work? <laughs> Not when all this happened. You were there when all this happened. You were actually standing right next to the stove. I don't know how you didn't smell it. Because it was pouring smoke, man, whenever I turned around. Yeah, it all ended up being okay at the end of the day, so whatever. <laughs> oh, that's terrible, man. I had something similar happen. A roommate of mine once upon a time left the stove on without the gas lit. And I came home and just the house smelled like gas so bad, man. You don't mean that. Yep, I had it too. Mm -hmm. I had the exact same feeling. Gosh, maybe it's contagious. No, no, something's screwy. We gotta go take a look. All right. Where, where are you going? That way, to the door. <laughs> are you scared? I don't be ridiculous. Yeah, you wouldn't know a cookie sheet could burn, but, uh, <laughs> they can definitely burn. <laughs> Sora! That's it. Who are you? <laughs> Couldn't smell at the time. It was your wife that you, let you know. So what I'm hearing is we've all almost burned our houses down at one point or another. <laughs> I don't think I've ever left the stove on before. Not that I can think of. The moment you set foot in this castle. You forgot every spell and every ability you ever knew. In this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. That is the way in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? Here you will meet people that you have known in the past, and you will meet people you miss. Riku! You mean Riku's here? If what you want is to find him. Hey, in your defense, it also stopped your mom's house from burning down. <laughs> what happened there? How'd you almost burn your mom's house down? What'd you do? I merely sampled your memories, and from them, I made this. To reunite with those you hold dear. What's this? A card? 
It is a promise for the reunion you seek. Hold the card to open the door, and beyond it a new world. Proceed, Zora. To lose and claim anew. Or, to claim anew, only to lose. I try not to talk over, like, cutscenes too much. But I find I just don't care with this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like this game just eh. i i love it because it's part of the kingdom hearts universe if it wasn't i probably would not care about this game at all <laughs> let's see okay Let, yep 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 i know how to play the game for the most part. <laughs> sure, I've forgotten something somewhere, but I remember all the basics. Your mom put wicker basket on top of old gas stove and caught on fire. Wow. Grandma started hollering up and she got her oxygen machine while she's trying to put it out. Rushed her, grabbed the hose, and got everything taken care of. And yeah, that could have been real bad, especially with the oxygen machine being right there. Because let me tell you, you blow some straight oxygen on something, it will burn like crazy <laughs> have a little bit of experience with that ourselves a um a rug just like a slightly shaggy rug and some oxygen that will go up quick man it flares like nothing else it's insane i've seen it firsthand <laughs> yeah you don't you don't want to mess with oxygen machines and anything including fire town's an illusion recreated from our memories blah 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 forget about that sora donald and goofy are missing oh no oh no what are we gonna do we don't know where they are but for some reason jiminy cricket's still here they're at the mercy of the cards master the cards and their strength will be yours again Tutorial time! Everybody's favorite. Claws of this cast require that your friends be transformed into cards. If you are your friends, you won't fail to pick them up. Yeah, stove was literally next to the main gas line. Then there was auction machine. Fire department said if I didn't get it out when I did, whole house would have went up. I believe it, man. Especially if there was the gas line right there, too. I didn't even think about that with it being an old gas stove. Cards you pick up or add to the top of your stack. Use them and your friends will come to your aid. Use card. Thanks, Donald. Yeah, that could have been really bad, man. Cards you use vanish, but they will reappear to your aid. Cards are the heart of your friends. Everything in this castle is ruled by cards. Whether an enemy or a door confronts you, cards are the only way to proceed. But you mustn't forget your own strength. Which also, sadly, has to do with cards. <laughs> First thing for yourself, move, then use the card. <clears throat> yep, yep. You know how to use your strength, but it would be of no use if you lose sight of your opponent. I wonder if you can catch me. Oh, we caught him. <laughs> Every move causes cards to disappear. If you use up all your cards, you'll be unable to act. But there's a solution. You can regenerate them. I can't. I can't use them up more quickly. It won't let me. Just, just have to guard this invincible dude. Guard this invincible dude. Attack this invincible dude a million times. <laughs> Reloading cards. Up quickly goes back to the beginning, or to the reload, or something along those lines. There we go. We're back. Hello, hello. Sorry about that, guys. Huh. Didn't mean to take that break, but uh, it was needed. Anyways, I said hello to Noodle Waz downstairs. Noodle says you're having a wee problem, Rue. I told Noodle to tell you to see a doctor, and she got upset with me, so... <laughs> What's the actual problem? Well, this is a problem. So good news is my Wii games are still on the USB. Bad news is they won't show up on the console. 
bro come on <laughs> i didn't see the i didn't see the message Noodle just said Rue's having a, a wee problem like why well, what am i supposed to do about that anyways <laughs> i uh sadly i have no experience with the wii u um were they ever showing up or no because like if they were never showing up <laughs> <laughs> then maybe you know that's why <laughs> but like wait Thursday oh no I accidentally stayed outside all day didn't I I forgot to pause the game either that or it keeps going while it's paused one or the other son of a bitch well, whatever. We're not. If we do decide to play this game, we'd be restarting anyway, so it's not the end of the world, I guess. <sighs> Doesn't mean we gotta. Or we wasted a day, though. At least we watered everything first. They showed up once on the Wii U, but now not on either console. Ugh. Oh, that does sound bad. <laughs> I have no idea, my guy. I'm sorry. I wish I did, but yeah, I have. No clue what could be going on there. Uh, maybe the dogs want berries. Give them some berries. Also, what is this actually? Medicinal herb, edible but bitter. Eases some fatigue, can be sold. Okay. Kind of figured it was something along those lines. Isn't he annoying? You're annoying, rude. I need a drink. Uh, okay. So, forced. That's where we go. We're meeting more people, collecting some stuff, trying not to die. Yeah, I wish I did know, but I really don't, man. I uh, have some experience with the Wii, but I never had this issue that you're having, so yeah. Um, nope, <laughs> I don't, I really don't know. Need somebody with a little bit more experience, I think, there. Or maybe some Googling. I imagine you probably already have Googled at least a little bit, but... I mean, that's... <laughs> whenever I have a problem, that's usually what I do. Google the shit out of it. Can we actually go up on this hill? No. Okay, I just saw the flowers up there and thought maybe we could go up there. I did see, though, a dude fishing over here. Maple Lake, no diving. Can we fish? Hey, um, hey to you too? I, I just wanted to learn how to fish, man. Go, he picked the thing. Thank you. You do have someone with that experience, but since he lives in Denver, ooh, won't be able to ha help until after spring break. Gross. Do you have any way of like contacting him over the phone or anything? I've never seen you before. Oh, you must be Tony's grandson. Are you gonna work on his farm? Oh, I see. So what's your name? How old are you? Where are you from? <laughs> okay, so you're Stream. Nice to meet you. I'm Katie, and I'm 16 years old. Katie, you're a little bit annoying. Are these grapes? I think you need a new job. You just said dude scheduled me during spread break, and you want to know what my workplace did? Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming they didn't schedule you, <laughs> which is honestly... <laughs> It's kind of a bit of an asshole move there. Like, I got some time coming off, uh, or I have some time off coming up here soon. If you guys want to give me a couple extra hours, I'd really appreciate it. Nah, bro, we're giving you none. Zero hours. Suck it. Ooh, Sunny Garden Cafe. Open noon? Closed on Mondays? We might have to stop back here if we get back over here in time. Or we could just wait, like, ten seconds, and then it'll be... Nah, I don't feel like waiting. We're moving on. Tried some things on Discord, but he can't figure it. But he can figure it out for faster in person. Yeah, that's fair. I know those feels all too well. Stream. Hello, sprite dudes. Over here, over here. The Harvest Goddess Lake is here. They're thirty percent off those containers you want. I mean. <laughs> You'll have to tell me exactly how much they are. I'll, I'll see what I can do. We don't really have disposable income right now, but 
Especially, you know, since we have to take one cat to the vet and maybe another. <laughs> uh, I have a love-hate relationship with these animals. Kept you to weekends only. You don't have school. Work. Let me work for more money. She said, I just... I can just call when I want to work and they'll tell me when I can come in. Like, that's really helpful. I mean, that is pretty annoying, dude. Hopefully, if you do decide to call, they'll let you come in. But I know me personally, I would really struggle to do that. <laughs> like, if you tell me this is when you need to be at work, okay, I'll be there. But telling me to call when you want to come to work? Ugh. I never want to come to work. I just have bills that need paid, so... You should come and talk to the goddess whenever you are feeling lost or have a problem. So we're going to tell you how to summon the goddess. Do we throw something in her lake? You have to offer something that you have, like flowers or berries. I figure that's how it works in uh, Back to Mineral Town or Friends of Mineral Town. Back to Nature, that's what it's called. Use the X button to pick up or throw things. Gotcha. And toss that bitch in the water. Let's go. What can I do for you? Hello, goddess. Hi, howdy. Hello, how are you? Oh, stream, have you come up with a good idea? Not really. Please cooperate with the people and save this town. To make friends with the people, just be assertive and talk to them. Giving gifts are good too. On a side note, I like vegetables. Cool, okay. Goddess likes vegetables. Oh, can we marry the harvest goddess in this game? There are some games where you can marry the Harvest Goddess. I wonder if this is one of them. If we do ever decide to play this one, we're marrying the Harvest Goddess, if it's possible. That's our goal. Good luck. Everyone has to work together. So, if you run into a problem, come by whenever. Actually, during the day is a better time for me. Toodles. What, you sleeping at night or something? We're leaving too? Adios, dudes. I wonder if King Supers would work around college. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> I guess it's worth checking out. If only worked one fast food job and it's the worst thing ever. <laughs> Retail isn't much better, but it's better than fast food. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand the people that just like love retail work definitely not one of them it's fine like it's by far not the worst job i've ever had fast food is definitely worse but um yeah <laughs> retail retail doesn't really you know tickle my jollies either it's just uh just what you got to do can we plant stuff here Ooh, seems like we can i'm assuming that that's some sort of like ultra fertile soil or maybe we can plant something there we can't plant anywhere else or something is that just a weed did we just pick up weed i'm assuming this is like another medicinal herb eases fatigue yeah what are you yeah just weed we picked up weed i wonder if uh, anybody enjoys weed probably wouldn't be too happy if we gave it to him honestly but hey is there no mine in this one there's not the world in this one seems very small even compared to like back to nature which was a ps1 game maybe the mine or whatever opens up later huh Yeah, as far as I can tell, we've explored the entire town. God, the time really flies, though, doesn't it? What's this? Cafe and bar. I mean, during the winter, maybe we can, like, cross the lake here or something? That's something you could do in, in Back to Nature. Our house. We've been here. Have we been here? Yeah, that's the stables and the pasture. Wow, yeah, okay, so we really have been everywhere. Wow. Fast food is hell. If real hell exists, whatever time you work in fast food is shaved off your sentence. I mean, does it really matter, though? Because I'm pretty sure your sentence is usually eternal. <laughs> eternal damnation, so... 
Hey, good news is you've shaved 30 years off your time in hell. Bad news is 30 years off of infinite is still forever. So have fun. <laughs> Tea's delicious. Hello, hello to you. Is this a menu? It is. Tea, herb tea, milk tea. Milk tea is best tea. Uh, cookies, muffins. I do like some muffins. Mm, muffins are pretty dope. Cheesecake. I like cheesecake. I like poor man's cheesecake, though. <laughs> like boxed cheesecake, no baked cheesecake. That's my favorite kind. <laughs> Not like proper homemade cheese. Like, that's fine. Don't get me wrong. I've had people bake cheesecakes and then like give me some, whether it's like for Christmas or just like at a, at a party or, or whatever, you know. Um, and like it's fine I like it I eat it but just the cheapo no bake cheesecake that you can buy at like any brain restaurant in the world restaurant that's not the worst that's literally not the word grocery store the cheap ass cheesecake box no bake mix that you can buy at any grocery store that's the stuff that's the stuff hi nice to meet you I'm Wallace I run the cafe and the bar so where are you from I see. So you're here for your grandfather's farm. You're Tony's grandson, huh? Well, good luck. I get a lot of people telling me good luck, dude. They really don't believe in me very much, do they? Yeah, literally, just everyone. Well, good luck. Depends on what you subscribe to. Uh, I mean, I have like, what, 400 subscriptions on YouTube? I, I subscribe to a lot of people. Um, I don't know what that has to do with the whole hell thing, but yeah. Oh, you probably mean like subscription services. You know, I got Netflix, Hulu, um, Crunchyroll, of course. Uh, I mean, what noodle help me here? <laughs> YouTube, I subscribe to the YouTube. Wait, what? Harvest Sprite's little message. Ask the carpenter man to build you a kitchen. You'll get a fridge to store your food, and you'll be able to start cooking. Amazon, of course. Yep, Amazon. Thank you, Noodle. Thank you. Paramount. Paramount Plus. Yep, yep. Got a little bit of that. Although, Paramount Plus, that's a uh, free thing for our Walmart subscription, right? I think so. Hello, Grumpy Man. Ah, uh, Discovery. Are we still subscribe to discover honestly if we are we should probably get rid of it it's a cheap one but uh like we almost never watch it phone zone is apparently hiring that could work for you do they do repairs or do they just like sell them oh it's running around with so much energy i mean isn't that literally what you're doing right now we are broke right i mean <laughs> it's just we don't watch it like that's all i'm saying we can get it back if you decide there's something on there you want to watch, but we haven't watched anything on Discovery in quite some time, love. I mean, since we got some extra time, I guess we could just chop some stuff down here. Get some more fodder for whenever we finally have enough money to buy animals. I don't even want to read that message. Just people that believe hell is simply a punishment and you can repent through time in hell. Honestly, I've never heard of that before. I mean, I'm sure there are people that believe it. There's people that believe anything out there. But... You think it's both? Okay, okay. I don't know what your experience like repairing phones is, but I think it's something that you could pick up pretty easily. Probably something similar to the company you work for. See, when I... Phone Zone, to me, sounds like one of those, uh... Not key... Oh! A power berry! Dope, dude. D does that, like, permanently increase our power? What was I saying, anyways? Oh, Phone Zone reminds me of, like... Like, the, the places that you see in malls, right? I've never actually heard of Phone Zone, but the name makes me think of one of those stands you would see in a mall that sells phones, repairs phones... Does all that kind of stuff. Has a bunch of cheap accessories and things that are slightly overpriced. Also, we're very tired, apparently. About to pass out. So, I think we're done chopping for the day. It is a store in a mall. See? Caught it. Um. Oh, shit. Oh, cool. That recenters our camera. Kind of. 
what I was wanting to do, though. How did I bring up that erectile dysfunction screen? <laughs> Maybe that's something you can only look at in the in the house. Because it, I remember it also said something about power berries. Yeah, power berry found in the pasture. I'm assuming, again, that the power berries are just like a uh, a health refill, or not a health refill, a maximum energy increaser. Did I see the price of the baking containers? Do you even know which ones I'm talking about when I say baking containers? No, I do not know which ones you're talking about off the top of my head. You'll have to show me again. And I did. Wasn't it like $59.99 or something like that, I think you said? Which isn't too bad if... If you really need them, we can figure something out for you. Uh, let's give the dog some grapes today. Fifty-four ninety-nine. Okay, that was close. Uh, water. I'm not sure how I feel about the crops being able to be grown year-round. Honestly, there's a lot of little things I'm not sure how I feel about in this game. compared to like all the ones that I'm used to. It's very different in a lot of ways. Uh, I think today we're going to try and see what the work stuff is like. And maybe... Well, we have a bunch of these moonflowers. Maybe we could give a couple away to people. Close on Sunday. Open at 8. Okay, so you should be opening soon. Although we can sell stuff to like anybody, it seems like. So we'll just keep going and then just the first shop that's open... They'll get a gift and a and sell some shit to them. You're the first person I've seen, so do you like moon drop flowers? What am I gonna do with a flower? Um, or er, thank you very much. I'm assuming they don't like flowers. Good morning, you've started working already? Okay, well the tool shop, 10 a.m. So you're still closed. There was the flower shop. There we go. Oh, you're the lady from the flower shop, right? You're always so cheerful. You too, dude. Uh, do you like moondrop flowers? Ah, oh, look at her cheeks. They're blushing. Okay. Wouldn't you rather sell this? Tee hee. Thank you. Can we give them infinite presents? Excuse me? It is 826. What time do you open? 9 a.m.? God, woman. Uh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna sell some stuff. It's a set with the cool little accessories for sugar, flour, baking soda, baking powder, powdered sugar, and brunch. I still don't remember it off the top of my head. I'm sure you have shown it to me, but my memory's terrible. You just had to show it to me after I get off. Sell. Oh, so each person only buys certain things. Including the lady in the house buys stuff. That's weird. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that system, honestly. I'm wondering how well this particular Harvest Moon game reviewed. I feel like it's going to be a lot lower score than some of the other ones. Because, like, it feels almost like what I would expect the first Harvest Moon game to be, you know? Like... There's no shipping box on the farm to sell your stuff in. Um... So, yeah, there's nowhere to just bulk sell stuff. There's only one season, or at the very least you can grow everything during every season or maybe you can only buy the seeds for the season you're in which would make sense but it's still kind of annoying that it doesn't specify what's what i don't know uh let's try the part-time work psycho hello my guy what's up it's a great way to get used to dealing with animals yes where do we sign up for part-time work maybe i have to do it from here 
What do you want? Do part-time work. Want to do part-time work? All right. You can use our tools. Want me to explain? Yes, please. What I want you to do is brush the animal. Select the tool with the R2 button. Press the X button to equip it, and then the square button to use it. The same goes for a milker button. Uh, da -da, equip it, use the button. Remember to be nice to the animals, and don't forget to put fodder in the boxes. When you're done, come tell me. Well, I'm counting on you. Can we just spend as much time as possible to make more money? <laughs> is that... Yes, it is a face cam. It must not have been here for the past couple of days. Yeah, I've been waiting to get this green screen behind me. Well, blue screen, technically, to set it up. I've actually had the camera for a little while, but... I wanted to get the, uh, the blue screen first. So maybe just, like brush everyone first? I didn't, I admit, I didn't really read what he was saying. Are we supposed to collect fodder? He definitely said something about fodder. We can brush everyone, and then milk everyone, and then I guess just do fodder until we get tired? But I think our pay was hourly, right? Didn't it say like 50 gold an hour or whatever? I say this all the time. That is the most the voice does not go with that person I have ever seen. <laughs> uh, I uh I don't know, man. I grew up with my voice, so I guess it just like <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I get what you're saying, but yeah. Uh do we have to get fodder from the barn? Maybe we need to get fodder from the barn cuz we don't have a sick one. Yeah, we only have the, the tools he gave us. <laughs> Dude, that's what I said, Psycho. I don't know, man. I feel like my voice goes with my face. <laughs> I mean, it is my voice and my face, after all. How much fodder do we get? Do we only get one piece? Looks like we only get one piece. How many animals were there? Three? Four? I'm just gonna take, like... Like nine, six. I'm pretty sure there were less animals than that, but seven, eight. Oh, the beard. Got a lot of beard, a lot of hair. Dude has a. Dude has long duck dynasty hair. <laughs> Dude has long duck dynasty hair and beard, which is badass, but I thought he was a skinny ass swing. No. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Far from it, my guy. <laughs> I am not a little dude. <laughs> I'm just under six foot tall, a bit over 200 pounds, and yes, a long ass beard and hair. So then feed me. Oh no! Don't throw it! I wanted to feed them. Can we not? Square? Square. Hello, cow? No! How many animals are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. How much do we have left? Six. Oh, thank God. Okay. So maybe. Okay, maybe they're already full and they don't need the fodder. Or maybe we just need to put the fodder in their bins for them here. By the way, if you're not comfortable with the last two words, remember to ban the word stream. I'm fine with ass, and is twink considered like a bad word? Like to refer to people as or something? I don't, I don't know, man. I'm not very hip with the kids. <laughs> ah, no, this isn't. That's not where we want to put that. Or, that's not where we want to put there. Uh, this. Come on, dude. Camera! Thank you. Two. Wait, there were more horses than cows. Does it matter? Do they have, like, different spots for horses and cows? Or can they all just go together? Yeah, wow, that is a bad spirit. I can't grow one, so I'm jealous of people who have nice ones. Well, I'm glad you think it's nice. I think this is the 
pregnancy one? I don't know. Maybe anyone can get in there. I'm assuming that's all of it. Yeah, I was, uh, I was blessed with decent beard genes. I have zero problems growing a beard. It grows whether I want it to or not. But I, I don't actually find a beard, though. I, uh have had it for a long time. I used to have to trim it short because I ran a deli. I was a uh, manager at a deli and I had to be under like an inch, inch and a half, something like that. I don't remember exactly. It's been a long time. Uh, and yeah, it was weird <laughs> keeping it that short because I used to keep it like medium-ish length, not quite full length. This is full length. This is as long as my beard will get. Um, I used to keep it like half that, but now I just, I just let it go. Are you done for today? Yes. Yes, I am. Here's your pay, 320 gold. You can have that milk, too. You did good job work today. <laughs> I can't word. Okay, so that's a pretty decent way to make money, 390. I mean, a chicken only costs 500. So two days of work and we could have a chicken. But, still feels weird. Like, I don't know. It just seems like there's some there's something missing, man, in the game. Like not having the mining is weird. The shop layouts are weird. Can we upgrade our tools or just buy new tools? Like so much of this game just feels weird. But I mean, we can collect iron ore, so there must be something to do with it. Maybe things just like unlock progressively as the game goes on. Oh. Hi, nice stream. I'm Nack. Nice to meet you. You should talk to everyone to make friends. When you want to give something to someone, hold the item and press the X button. Good luck. Um, your stream, right? I'm Flack. I love to sleep. People spend their days off in different places. Oh, never mind. I misread that. Check the map to see when shops are closed. Hello, stream. I'm Nick. Hey, did you come up with a good idea? Is it really good? Is it neat? What's it like? Oh, let me tell you something good. You can sell things you find in the forest to the shops. That is good to know. I kind of already knew that, though. It's one of the reasons why you stop shaving, Nate. It comes back too damn quick. Feel it. Feel it. I claim that I stopped because you cried. I mean, you did cry one time. I didn't even completely shaved it. I trimmed my beard and then came to bed and Noodle cried. <laughs> Literally started crying. So, like... I don't think I'm allowed to shave, even if I did want to. Uh, are you open now? I would like to sell some stuff if you are. And if you accept what I have to sell. Uh, very berries. Um, oh, they're blueberries, not grapes. Yogurts. Uh, no, you don't buy milk. I mean, I guess I could just keep the milk, but I kind of want to sell it. don't have like five minutes in the morning to shave i mean i'm not gonna pretend to know how much time nate has in the morning but i know for me personally i just find shaving annoying like honestly like and that's why i just don't take the time to do it that and plus like again i like beards better than i like no beards generally speaking Noodle must have been really upset about you doing that. I woke up to a different man looking at me. She's dramatic. It's not that big of a difference, dude. Like. <laughs> uh, sickle. Let's cut some grass, I guess. Gotta fill our time doing something, right? Dude, that's me. I straight up stopped shaving. I, I, I feel like most dudes should not shave. <laughs> I mean, on, obviously it's up to them, you know, their own personal preference, but I've never seen a guy that looks better baby-faced than they do shave for my personal preferences, right? Everyone's different, of course, but I'm a fan of beards. Can't shave till I've, can't shave. I've still not adjusted to the bald man cutting his hair. We have a mutual friend who uh, completely shaved his head, is what he's talking about. I was sleeping. He woke me up. I was disoriented from waking up and saw a different face looking at me. It wasn't that different, dude. It was just, you know, that was around the time when I was 
cutting my my or shaving or not shaving my beard, but keeping my beard like half length too, wasn't it? So I probably took off like it was probably like quarter, right? It's probably down to like here. Like yeah, like there-ish maybe. I'm guessing it was probably around there. And yeah, she just died a little inside and then cried a lot. It was close to your face. I mean <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have I have no words. I don't know what to say. Alright, we're gonna do one lap around the town real quick just to see if anything's changed. And then I think we're gonna call it there. Oh, we got our first potato harvest. That's fun. Um doesn't really do anything for us at the end of the day, but neat, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's allowed to shave if he wants half crying face yeah that uh fills me with confidence that i can shave if i like <laughs> oh since we got vegetables i guess we could uh throw one at the harvest goddess and see what she says i've seen if there's a tab for like villagers like to show your relationship with them or anything doesn't appear like it I didn't figure there would be. That seems to be like a more of a Stardew Valley thing than a Harvest Moon thing. At least in the Harvest Moon game, the one that I mainly played, Back to Nature, um, you just had to talk to people to see what your status was with them, your relationship status. Like when they, if they were an eligible bachelor or bachelorette, they would have a little heart at the end of their text and it would uh, change. The colors would, or the heart would change colors based on how close you two had gotten. So, like, clean shave, 20 minutes, use an electric one. It takes, like, two seconds. That's what I did when I used to trim, was just use a, an electric one. Every once in a while, I'd break out the scissors, but that's pretty rare. I was completely bald once, too. I don't know if I ever told you guys that. I know I'm, I'm pretty sure I've told Noodle, and I know I've told Nate before, but, yeah, I was completely bald, like... Not just electric shaver trim, but like literally razor blade all the way down, bald. It was terrible, and uh, hope I never have to do it again. I didn't have to that time either. Growing up, we usually got buzz cuts, right? That's what our my stepdad, my brother's dad, brother's dad would do. Uh, he would sit us down. He would take the the pair of trimmers and just you know, thirty seconds each head, trim it down, and that's how we usually got our haircuts. Uh, every once in a while we would go to a proper bar barber and get like something a little bit different But 90% of the time that's how we got a haircut and me and my brother one day were like, you know what? Having that stubbly hair and whatnot all the time. is kind of annoying wonder what it would be like to just Take it all the way down to just be be completely bald So me and one of my brothers, that's what we decided to do. We we grabbed some razors and we shaved each other's heads um, It was absolutely terrible. I got a bunch of sunburn. I the look was whatever. I don't I like hair more than I like no hair most of the time, but honestly, I don't think bald looks bad on most people either, so it's like, whatever. But, uh, yeah, nah, after that, that was one of the last times I've ever had my hair properly cut. Like, for a while, when I first started growing out my hair, I would shave the sides of it, right? Like, this part, um, and then leave the, the top done normal. I did that for a little while, uh, and then... After that, it was just like an occasional trim, and that was pretty much it. You want to make a wish? I can't change the weather for you. But you can choose one from the following. Energy, fatigue, girl, dog, horse. Girl. Okay, I'll make a girl like you more. Voila. The catch is you can't pick who you want to be liked more by. Uh, I think someone's affection rate went up. I think. <laughs> well, if you're a man, you should go and talk to her yourself. I don't know who it is, though. How am I supposed to know who to talk to? That's really weird. I wonder, can we marry her if we decide to come back and play more of this game? I'm not feeling super, super confident now in that. I'm going to look a couple things up before we actually quit, quit. The stream, that is. Uh, this is, which one is this? Save the homeland. I had to look at the case. Harvest, moon, save the homeland. Um, 
marriage. Oh. Oh, you can't get married. There is no marriage at all. This is, wow. See what I mean though? <laughs> Again, this feels like, like a Harvest Moon, like an early Harvest Moon game. It's not. <laughs> Obviously, the one I played was on PlayStation 1. This is a PS2 game. Yeah, you can't even get married. Yeah, no marriage. From what I'm reading here, there is no marriage in Save the Homeland. However, there are several ladies around the village that can be romanced as part of storylines associated with them. Upon completion of a particular storyline, a final romantic event will occur with the girl after the credits roll. Yep. That's strange. It's not clean shave and less face is smooth. For me to avoid major irritation requires wiping face off well with warm water, then shave cream, then using razor, then cleaning face and after shave lotion. My skin is not picky like that. I know everyone's skin is different, but the few times I have clean shaven, dude, it's just razor, just dry most of the time. A little bit of <laughs> a little bit of water maybe, then a rinse to get any little piece of the hair off, and done. Uh, whenever I like straighten up the lines here, that's what I do. Just just water, maybe a little bit of, uh, uh, and then either like shave it and then, or I'll lift like a razor or I have, I don't remember what they're called. Are they like actually eyebrow razor, razors noodle? Noodle would know. It's just like a, a little straight razor, basically a single little razor on a stick. And uh, <laughs> I use that sometimes to like clean up the edges or clean up like a, uh, I don't have a strong unibrow or anything, but I do get a little bit of unibrow. Plus, I get really bad dry skin in this area here. I have eczema. It's not too bad, but I do have eczema. You probably can't see it too well, but like you can see how red it is right around here and whatnot. Um, same on this this arm over here. Also, red over there. Sometimes I'll get other dry patches and stuff, but I just get dry skin in general because I like that stuff. And uh, yeah, so. What was the point? Oh yeah, so so I also get dry skin like here and on my forehead and stuff sometimes. So I'll use that straight razor to kind of like a uh, as a exfoliator. Or a uh, there's actually a name for it when you like shave off the top layer of skin on your face, but I, I can't. Anyways, but yeah, no marriage, dude. No marriage. Basically, you get to be a manho, I guess. Like, <laughs> um, and it seems like it has a hard ending. Like, I'm assuming since it says, like, credits roll, I don't, maybe you get to continue to play afterwards? I'm not really sure. Is there a mine? Harvest Moon, save the homeland. Mine. Okay, mining guide. Mining is one of the great activities to earn money quickly at the beginning of, of playing Harvest Moon, save the homeland. In addition to working part-time at Bob, it's also very easy to do here. When you first play this game, maybe you're wondering where is the mine located. Unlike most Harvest Moon games and Save the Homeland, there is no cave or mine at all. Instead of going to the mine, you can dig eight empty plots that have not planted crops on your farm to get some minerals. Yeah, so there's no mine either, dude. What? Weird, man. Huh. Yeah, so this is just an extremely basic Harvest Moon game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I just don't know if I could, like, how much time I could really sink into it before I got bored. How many crops are there? That's it. <laughs> that's all the fucking crops. What? <laughs> the crops we have access to right now, that's it. Red fruit, corn, tomato, potato. Hope you like those crops. That's all you're getting. Bruh. <laughs> right? What is this game indeed? That's crazy, man. Wow. Okay. I, I guess we won't be putting this game on the geek list of games to complete. Uh, there is a remake of the game. Maybe that one would be better. Uh, Harvest Moon Save the Homeland remake. I think it's for a different console, though. Um, so we make cars. Right. What game is this? 
Charlotte is loud, she is. Hero of Leaf Valley. It's a PSP game, apparently. Harvest Moon, Hero of Leaf Valley. Okay. Not technically a remake, I guess, but very similar game. I don't know. Maybe we'll check that one out someday. Charlotte is loud. No mining. Blow. You need sleep. You're going to head to bed. That's fine, dude. I got to get ready for bed myself. I got to get up in like five hours. So, yeah. <laughs> That's. I just wanted to look up a couple things about the game before I got off because I was, I was legitimately curious about it. You know, I, I love Harvest Moon games. I wanted to know more about this one because I've never really uh, played this one before that much. And uh, I guess for good reason, because, yeah, there's, like, nothing fucking to it, dude. Crazy. Anyways, uh, enough talk about beards and shit, I guess. Let's all go to sleep. <laughs> let's, let's get some sleep, dudes. I feel that. No, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me a little bit while I played some Harvest Moon Save the Homeland. I enjoy, legitimately enjoyed my time playing the game. I just don't see myself being able to play through the entire thing unless it's short if it's really short maybe it wouldn't be too bad but it just seems like it would get super repetitive very quickly uh, regardless though today is sunday so i'll be back wednesday to play some mortal kombat deception yes mortal kombat deception probably finishing the game up depends how long we get stuck on the final boss so for those of you that can make it i hope to see you there in the meantime, have a good night, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. You can recall spin cards at any time. 